Herr Strauss. How are you? About. About how I look. Okay. Uh, are you, um. Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are. Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't. Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. Like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them just... Is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. <laughs> They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Warm up, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you... I don't know nothing about kindness. You got any business at the mine? Mister? What are you, pal? I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Arthur Londonderry. See here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> 
The man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey. I ain't the godforsaken money lender. <laughs> hey, you want company, Hello. boys? Sure, because I want to be pissing needles tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is down. <gasps> go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... I... Well, I, I, this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it's anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness, not just hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight. I guess I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think? Down the mine until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Foreman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Maybe I could go with... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Shut up. Oh, oh, all right. oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? Or I'll kill you too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Now who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. They're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this, all of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again. Gonna pack all your stuff, Angel? I don't want to go. It'll be an adventure? I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Be brave, sweet angel. Be brave. Fine. <coughs> uh, Mrs. Londonderry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just... We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. Son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister. Uh, I just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to you know, take this. 
It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Okay, Arthur. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just standing. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. <coughs> Mr. Morgan, Arthur. Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too.